Here's one of the important things to remember about 9-11. Most of the people who were in and around those buildings ran out. There were a few people, our firefighters, our police officers, who ran in. And it's a great reminder of why we have to have the backs of our police officers, why we have to have the backs of our firefighters, because these are the men and women who are willing every day to put their lives on the line for all of us. That is real courage. I remember in BUDS, the dominant feeling of everyone in our class after 9-11 was, I wish I'd been on one of those planes. And we recognize that there have been moments of tremendous peril and hardship and difficulty throughout American history, but we made it through. After 9-11, everybody wanted to do whatever they could. People wanted to give blood. Young people went into recruiting offices, right? Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine Corps, everybody went. They said, hey, I'm ready to serve. My country's under attack and I'm gonna stand up. And everybody was thanking our firefighters. They were thanking our police officers. People came together when we were under attack. And now you look at the country and we're tearing each other apart. There's no sense of common purpose. There's no sense of common mission. And that's why you have to have leaders who not only bring people together, okay, that's one thing, but also call people to a common mission. Right now, the country needs a mission. We need leaders who recognize that patriots can stand up. And part of the mission that we have is to revive the country. And I believe like, that spirit of patriotism that spirit of self-sacrifice, that spirit of willingness to stand side by side with my neighbor, it's still there. It's still there, but, but we, have to, we have to revive it.